Hello everyone, my name is Akerele Oluwa Shogo, popularly known as Mr. Excel. I'm a Microsoft Excel and Power BI trainer with LeagueLib Data Analytics School, where we train companies and individuals on data analytics. Today I'll be sharing with you the dashboard which I just created on Power BI. This dashboard contains the Premier League 2021 and 2022 dashboard created by Mr. Excel. Mr. Excel. So I use the Premier League data table to create this dashboard to get insight on what happened in the Premier in just completed Premier Chief in UK. If you look at the dashboard, it's very interactive. I use various visuals to create this dashboard. If you look at this, my this is what we could this that this visual that you're looking at is what we call a card visuals. So if you look at the card visual, it's talking about how many points do we have in the Premier League. We have 1052 points for all the teams, and the total win from the Premier League is 292, and the total losses is 292. How many draws do we have in the Premier League? We have 176 draw in total in the Premier League. And how many go in favor is 1,071 goals in favor of all the teams. If you look at the, the visual that I use, I have visual for draw by team, go favor and against by each of the team, win by each of the team, I have losses by each of the team, how many points are matched by each of the team. You can see on my table, Manchester City is having 99, 93 points. That's why they were crowned the champion because they have the highest points, followed by Liverpool, which is 92 points, followed by Chelsea, 70, 74 points, followed by Tottenham, 71 points, and Arsenal, 69 points. Though Arsenal was unable to make the top four because um, um, Tottenham have two points over, over them. So if you look at the dashboard, it's very interactive. So I can zero on each of the team to know more information about each of the team. The whole essence of we using Power BI is to get insight for better decision making. If you look at my slicers, I have my slicer that contain all the teams. What do you understand by slicers? Slicers is used, slicer is used to filter our dashboard based on criteria. So if I go to the slicers and I click on all, you can see the drop down arrow is showing all the teams. So if I pick has now, I click on has now. I want to know what happened to has now. It will give me the performance of has now. Let's look at the performance of has now. You can see total point amassed by has now is 69 points. They have 22 draws. They have 22 wins rather, 13 losses, 3 draw and they have it's called 61 go in favor. 61 go in favor. If you look at the visuals here, we can see how many go in favor is 61. How many go in against Arsenal is 48. 48 go. So they don't really score much go. They conceive a lot during the course of the Premier League. If you look at how many wins by Arsenal, they have um 22 wins. How many losses? They have 13 losses. What happened because they lost like four or five games at the beginning of the season, which also which really affected their performance toward the end of the season. How many points are matched by Hasna? They have 69 points in total. Let's pick another team. I'm going to I'm going to focus on the top five team in the Premier League. So I'm going to click on my slicer again. Click on the drop down arrow. I'm going to look for the next team, the Tottenham, which is the fourth team that came fourth in the Premier League. So I'm going to look for Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspot. So I've seen Tottenham Hotspot and I click on the Tottenham Hotspot on the slicer. Let's see the performance of Tottenham Hotspot. They have 71 points in total. That is the reason why they came forth in the Premier League. How many wins? They also have the same number of wins like Arsenal too. They have 22 wins. They have 7, 11, 11 draws, 11, 11 losses rather and 5 draw and the total goal scored by Tottenham is 69 goal. 69 goal. Let's look at the visuals here. You can see they score 69 goal and they concede 40 goals. How many win is 22 wins and how many points are matched by Tottenham? 71 points. 
and losses is 11 losses in the just concluded Premier League. So I'm going to pick another team quickly. I'm going to pick Chelsea. So I'm going to look at the click like that and click on Chelsea. Let's see the performance of Chelsea in just concluded Premier League. So on Chelsea, Chelsea have 74 points. You can see my dashboard is interactive. I'm getting different reports as I'm using as I'm using the slicer to select each of the team. 74 points by Chelsea, and they have 21 total wins, six losses, 11 draw, and goal scored by Chelsea is 76 goal. And if you look at the goal in favor and goal against 76 goals, and they conceive 33 goals. How many wins? 21 wins. That means they won 21 matches. How many points? 74 points. And how many lost? They lost six times in the Premier League. That is why Chelsea came third in the Premier League. I'm going to the next one. I'm going to now. He is uh, Manchester United. Manchester United. Let's see the report from Manchester United. I click on this for my slicer, and I'm seeing a report for Manchester United. Total points is 58 points. Total wins is 16. Can you see? Total losses by Mayu is 12 losses. Total draw is 10 draws. And how many goals scored by Manchester United is 57 goals. You can see they, they have the same number of goals against and also the same number of goals in favor. You can see they conceive a lot of goal during the just concluded Premier League. As they are scoring goal, they are also conceiving. So um, you can see they have 16 wins in total, which is very, very low. It's below the standard of Manchester United. And if you look at the, the point amassed by the team is 58 points and they have 12 losses from the from just completed Premier League. I'm going to Liverpool. I'm going to look for Liverpool. Let's see the performance of Liverpool so that we can analyze it quickly. Liverpool, I've seen Liverpool. I click on Liverpool. So look at the performance of Liverpool. They have 92 points, 92 points from 28 wins, two losses. They only lost twice in the Premier League. They have eight total draws and 94 goals. Let's look at the number of goals in favor and against. So they score 94 goals and they concede 26 goals. How many wins by Tot and Liverpool? They have 28 wins in total. How many they lost twice in total? And they have 92 points. 92 points. That's the reason why Liverpool came second in the just concluded Premier League. Okay, let's go to Manchester you Manchester City. Manchester City. So I'll scroll down my slicer and look for Manchester City. So I click on Manchester City. Let's see the performance of Manchester City. They have 93 points. That's why they came first in the Premier League. They were crowned the champion because they came first. They have 93 points in total. So they have 29 wins. That means they have one win more than Liverpool. So three losses, six draw and 99 goals so they have the highest goal score by any of the team in just concluded premier league you can see they have the same number of goal conceived 26 with liverpool but they have 99 goals scored in total so if you look at number of wins that we have there is 29 number they lost three times in the premier league and they have uh, how many points they have 93 points so if i want to clear the feature let's I want to see back all the reports I will just come here and click on clear. It will clear all the report for me. You can see these are the teams that were that were relegated. You can see these teams, these three teams: Burnley, Watford, Norwich. They were relegated because of their point. That's how to use Power BI to create an interactive dashboard. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Akerele Oluwa Shogo popularly known as Mr. Excel.